see you. Last, last time we were so separated. I know. That's we how long the COVID thing. thing. I, I know. We're allowed to be a little closer. I like this. So it's nice to see you and congrats on the little you. one. Thank yes. you so much. How's the family doing overall? So good. She is such a light and a joy and having a new baby in the house like you know oh what gosh. it's like they love her so much and I know is there any jealousy just because it's a new you it's know, weird because time? I thought they would either like you know be very mad at her for just existing yeah or they would like want so much attention from me but they actually love her so much and they want so much attention from me so it's yeah. both and and that's really not it has a lot to do with her obviously but they still yeah. shower her with love every bath in the sink they crowd around and Miles is in like this like this crazy kissing phase where he's like just kind of practicing a little bit on everything. Oh my God, no, but my daughter did that to Remy whenever he, she just kept kissing him. She just yeah. thought he was so cute too and just kept, and I was like, baby, it's getting weird. I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. And so Miles is yeah. like, like if it's like six in the morning, I feel the kisses and he thinks I'm asleep, <laughs> but it's so cute. I'll do my like top lip and bottom lip. And then with Esty, he's just like, Argh! like yeah. all in. He's and like, this feels fine. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> he's like so affectionate. I heard that y'all actually, did you throw them a party? Like, I did. Before SD came home? Yeah, I had this big grand idea. So I had a scheduled C-section. So I thought it was going to happen on like a Saturday morning or something. So I planned this big Scooby-Doo party. The kids love Scooby-Doo right now. And, yeah. and the old ones only. Like they're very crazy about it being the yeah. old, old ones. <laughs> and um, so I bought balloons and Scooby snacks and all this stuff for my bedroom because they love when they get a chance to sleep in our bed. So yeah. I had that planned out. But then, of course, the C-section just came out of nowhere. And so I wasn't able to do it. So I did it after she was born, and they were just so so happy. And That's I wanted such a to, smart idea though for the older yeah. kids. I wanted them to make. I wanted yeah. them to know that I wasn't gonna forget about them. Yeah, and, so we're and not resent the baby. Things. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Her name is Esty, which I yes. thought was so cool. And I know I found out over text why, because I was I asked. But yeah. tell everybody like where that name came from. Yeah, I was actually just we were on vacation where we got married in Italy, and I was looking up at the hotel, and I kept seeing the Este Este of it, and then I was like, I love the name Este. And then just playing around with it, and then we came up with Esty, and then John, after we named her Esty, uh, learned that it was actually his great grandmother's name. So, which is the craziest mom. part of the story? Yeah, I've never heard this name in my entire life. And you're like, oh, yeah, it's a family Esty name. John. I know. No, I'd never heard of Esty. I know. Yeah. It, it was so. Yeah, the, the, I guess it, maybe it was Esther, and then they turned it to Esty. But that's yeah, cute. Was, yeah. I love that. I love yeah. how it was familiar and you did Yeah, know. and then of course, I'm sure you're the same way. You want them to all sound good together and have the, yes. you know, so it's. Yeah, I was it the weird fit. mom who was like, has to be an R, because yeah. River and River. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I thought it was cute. Anyway, <laughs> but they're great names. Anyway, um, so last time you were here, um, Miles and Luna were super busy. So are they still doing everything, all the things? More than everything. They did more than I ever did as a child. They do gymnastics, ballet, um, little ninjas, t ball. T -ball. Right? Yeah. Yeah, T-ball is like Miles' thing right now. It's so, it's Little so much Little ninjas, fun. my kids would love that. Little ninjas is really, it's just like, it's all the stuff they do on your couch, but in a controlled environment. Yes, yeah. that's my son, yes. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to break it's stuff. It's genius, it's yeah. such a smart idea with all the padding and everything necessary, yeah. It's really oh, that's cute, awesome. it's so It keeps fun. you busy though, it's so fun. Yes. I was like, my mom was so lucky, she didn't do any of this. I like, know, <laughs> like, I know. Yeah. And then not to mention all the events at school and stuff, every holiday yeah. is celebrated so they can learn about different cultures and stuff. So so they always have something Which different. is cool because it's inclusive, but yeah. at the same time you're like, and now it's this small. I know, I know. It's like, I know. It's like, yeah, I yeah. love that it's inclusive. I know. Yeah, yeah, you're My like, kids oh. look forward to Friday, they're like, there's nothing today, right? And I'm like, yes, it's nothing it's today. It's awesome because I like them learning about all the different things. It's just hilarious because I do feel like there is a holiday for everything. There is, there yeah. is. So wait, who is louder at t-ball games? Is it you or John? Or... It's me for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I grew up watching I kind of baseball. don't know why I asked you that question because <laughs> he is like walking ambient to me. <laughs> so I know. Thank you yeah. for saying, I know. He's very say, chill. I know. It's just and, him. And he's, no, he's just super chill. Yeah, I don't think he's ever gotten mad at me. Like, truly, I really don't, like, I mean, he has, but he doesn't show it at least. Wow. But like, I've not, yeah. It's pretty wild. He so. is very even kill. Yeah, I gotta, he, he should is. write a book. Yeah, yeah I know. For but, people like us. And then everyone's like, yeah, people like that though, it's festering and it's gonna burst. I'm like, no, it's not in there. It's like yeah. totally just not. Yeah, he's very chill. Yeah, he So is. I don't even know why I asked you that. No, yeah, it's of okay. course you're the one at the game. Cause no. he's probably just like, like it's, he does a nod. Yeah, and plus I'm not sure if he like, I, I love baseball so much and, and he's just like kind of a, yeah, he's passive with, he doesn't mind. He's one of those people that's like, I want both teams to win, like even in yeah. football and stuff. So um, yeah, I, but I love, I love hyping everybody up though. Like the other team, and yeah. stuff. They're, they're four and five. So yeah. come on, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. so cute. <laughs> I love these, like everyone's a winner. Yeah. So after another baby, are you making sure to make time for yourself?
Because you're um, outnumbered now. I know. You and John. <laughs> I know. It, it's fun though. I love the yeah. chaos of it. The house is so noisy, and I really, really love it. Um, I don't really go out and do a lot of things for myself. If they can come to the house and do it, like if I can get. I have a masseuse chiropractor that I've been seeing since Luna was born, so like seven years now. He helped me like, he helped flip her in my belly. His name's Dr. Berlin. He like pushed her, like moved my muscles, massaged my muscles and They're helped flip her perfect. entire body, yeah. yeah. And so I've been seeing him for six, seven years now. And uh, for the, all seven years, every time he comes over, which is about once a week maybe or more if I was trying to move the baby around or something, we, We'll do a massage and watch a murder doc at the same exact time. Like that is, or a podcast or whatever. He's my like, he's my what? other husband basically. I spend okay. so much time with him at night. Wait, so you watch, so wait, during a massage, you're like, while you're relaxing, yes. you like to listen to murder? I don't like um, like soft, soothing sounds. I like, oh. like, I like crazy podcasts and I like true crime. And even if I get a facial, I'll bring in my phone and she'll be like, you wanna listen to murder, don't you? And then I'll say, yes, and she goes, it sucks because then you fall asleep during the facial and I'm stuck listening to murder by myself. Which <laughs> <laughs> is so weird. But she hates it, she hates my stuff. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I just like, I love, I love crime. I don't know. I, 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 I my love... friends are all like this. Like yeah. all my girlfriends are like this as well. I know, and I'm just like, I think it, I go down, I just, I need to see the brighter side of humanity, not yeah. the worst. Yeah. I don't know, it's very, it's fascinating to people. I, yeah. I like things that I can just like listen to mindlessly. I like to solve things. Like of course, Serial, Serial was so big to me to follow that case along. And mm -hmm. I always thought I'd be involved in criminal justice somehow. So like for me, I really love, I don't know, I just, I, I love every aspect of it. I love watching the shows You're not alone, night. there's millions of you. I know, yeah. what's wrong it's with us? It's a huge thing. No, it's cool. No. I just, yeah, I like to, you know, Talladega Nights. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, I know. I like, I like to laugh. I know, yeah. You're like Ted Lasso. Yeah, like, I no, like Ted Lasso. Yeah. <laughs> so my friends are like, it's too happy. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I know. <laughs> like, I know. Anyway, speaking of <laughs> self-care, so you're doing work with something called, and I've actually heard of this. I, I'm so mad at myself because I somebody told me about it when my kids were born especially River, my first one, but cord blood registry. So yes. I, I'm so mad I didn't do it because it was so new to me and yeah. I, nobody I knew had ever done it. Yeah. But I really wish I would have done it now. I know, it was new to us too. I remember around the time that I had um, Luna, I was asking around for someone to, I mean, I'll try anything if it'll, if, if, if it has a chance of working, if it doesn't hurt you. So when they were, everyone was saving their placenta to make into pills and stuff, I was like looking for somebody to do that. It's incredible. The stem like, cells. Yeah, yeah, you save the stem cells. They basically, when your baby is born, they clip off like a four inch piece of the umbilical, cord, the umbilical yeah. cord, and they save it in this bank in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And those stem cells can be used to treat um, over 80 different conditions, yeah. at right now 80. And as you know, like science is ever evolving and it's just amazing. I it's have one of those and... autoimmune things and yeah. I actually do stem cells. Like yeah. I, I do that. Oh, that's so that's incredible. why I think, and it's been extremely helpful yeah. for me. But yeah. it's, it's so no, It's like a little kit. You, I packed it in my baby bag. I handed it to the doctor when I was like about to be cut open. Yeah. I was just like, here you go. And then they just flip open the kit, cut the piece, send it off, and it's done. And then you have it for the rest of your life. And yeah. it'll help, you know, the siblings, it can help. I know if it's your crazy. kids get sick, it's incredible. I, I just feel so dumb for not doing it. But no, I think it's, it's okay. really important that you're talking about it. But is it true that you like to go to Dave & Buster's? I used to live at Dave & Buster's on tour. We go every 10 days, I would say. I didn't even yeah. know there was one near here. Yeah, there's Hollywood and Highland. This Look is at John, he's like, kids, get off the game. This game, like, <laughs> encases you with sound and vibration. And I fell asleep, this is right after we had SD and I still fell asleep inside of it. <laughs> Are you one of those people that can fall asleep everywhere? Anywhere. So is John, obviously. Oh. But yeah, we can we can fall asleep anywhere. But I'm we, not. We go early in the morning, we go around like 9, 30, 10, and then get in, we put our stuff down, order food, go play, come back, have lunch, and then we're out after lunch before the big rush. But yeah. we, I, I don't know, we love it. We never like, we don't even do it for like the, the, the tickets. Like we just go and we leave. Yeah. <laughs> The ticket thing is funny because you always end up, it doesn't matter where you are, pop, pop, wherever you are and you're getting like a Chinese ticket. finger trap. Yeah, it just, well no, and it's just like, and it costs you 150 tickets and you're I like, know. it costs like $5. I know, I know. I just think it's funny, but the kids get so excited. So I'm like, we're getting those 150 tickets. I know, anyway. I know. So, okay, so and I realized. It's randomly like a KitchenAid for 75,000. <laughs> yeah, it's like a random product. It's always so, it really was a KitchenAid last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do love David Musters, I do, um, and Papa. Um, okay, I realized that you and I never competed in a game on the show, so do you wanna, you wanna do it? You don't have a choice. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I 
Okay, great. <laughs>